<laughs> so yeah, so we this is a second choice, and we stick with ECST. And uh, the situation has been uh, when I started vaping, it was like you know, nobody cares. You can order, you can vape, you can own, you can whatever you want. The more evidence came out, the harder the people from, especially from the Department of Health came down against us and one of the reason being that okay it's it's there's enough evidence that vaping really helps reduce cancer rate they are losing their interest they are losing their incomes and the, this is where the big farmers came in and big pharma is very very big in Thailand and uh, finally the Department of Health public health hmm, I uh, asked the Department of Commerce to ban importing distribution uh, sales of all electronic cigarette devices including liquid and everything. <coughs> so that's the first step. You cannot import. You cannot produce. You cannot manufacture. You cannot make. But at that time, vaping is still okay. Owning possession of vape gear is still okay, was still okay. And then they step up to the second second step because of the, the black market, the underground market. We have an estimate, we were thinking about 600,000 vapors at the moment, at least, because there's one Facebook group uh, with a member of over 400,000 members. Wow. You're kidding. Just one group. Just one group. Yeah, that's that's mm -hmm. within our in in our uh, our community. So that's over four hundred thousand people in that one group, and uh, so we estimated we have more papers than that. There are other people who does not want to be in any kind of group, you know. So they stick to themselves. So right now in Thailand, it's it's regional thingy. In certain places, yes, you can vape, you can whatever. In other places, the police will come down, arrest, and send you to jail with maximum jail time of 10 years for owning this 10 years plus, plus a sign of 100,000 baht, which is equivalent to. Um, yeah, that's, that's a lot. It's a lot of money. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's about 30 something baht per euro. Yeah. So this is for possession. Just for possession. Now we're, we're not talking about manufacturing or importing you wish the, the, the fine and the, it's more severe. This is just for owning a mod. Recently a couple from uh, Middle East or something got arrested for owning just a, a small, you know, small mods and whatnot. <laughs> Both of them are over 70 years old. They got arrested and sent to jail for a couple of nights, like two nights, three days or something like that. So this is becoming really serious. And one funny thing, which, you know, it's, 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 it's funny in a way. Vaping is not a crime in Thailand. So the act of vaping, you can vape as long as it's not in the in the non-smoke the non-smoking area, if it's a smoking allowed, the vaping is okay. But you cannot own. <laughs> <laughs> so figure that out. Figure that out. If you can find a way to vape without owning vape gears, then yeah, you're safe. You well, rent from who? The owner. The owner will be arrested. <laughs> Okay. If you rent it, it's with you, it's your belonging. Your possession. Even for, yeah, possession. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It belongs in the category of possession, which is really weird. I have personally talked to the Minister of uh, Commerce, uh, and uh, we also have talked with the team from uh, Department and Ministry of Tourism and Foreign Affairs and other and also the uh, industry they are pro-vaping 
the only department, the only ministry is public health. And uh, the law originated from the, uh, the Ministry of Commerce, but was asked to pass the law. The public health asked the commerce to pass the law because it's about the taxation and you know importing and whatnot. And so uh, last month I talked to the ministry and the vice of uh, commerce. He said, "Well, there are two ways, two ways to go. First, the best." is have the same people, the public health, came out and say, okay, after looking at all the evidence and all the researchers and whatnot, we found out that today, <coughs> vaporizers, yes, they are safer than before. So let's revise and do something about it, maybe regulate it, which is what we want. We don't want it to be free and you know, open and for everyone and everything. We want it to be regulated. Or we can go to court. So they, they suggest us take the case to court, to the, uh, what is it, political court. So we might, that might be our, our final uh, decisions. We have to really discuss between our group and uh, we don't want it to end that way. You know, it's very difficult to take the government to court. <laughs> yeah, they are the government, and especially the Thai government <coughs> nowadays, today is is it's not uh, it's what do you call it? totalitarian? It's yeah. uh, the military yeah. rules. So yeah, there's another way which is highly unlikely is the prime minister himself came up and said, just legalize the thing. He could say that, he just come, just recognize the damn thing, I don't want to, any more problem and questions and all these hassles, just do something about it, it will be done. But, you know, very slim chance because he got a lot of other bigger issues to be concerned about. So that's the situation in Thailand right now. I'm not saying that, uh, I'm, I'm going, I'm tra I've, I've been traveling all the time, I have lots of friends traveling, going in and out uh, of, of major airports all over the country. You, you probably have heard, you know, people got arrested and got confiscated, but that really happened for two days. The police department of that, uh, that area, that district, asked the port authority at Don Mueang Airport. Is it also applying to tourists? Yeah, for everyone. But only happened for two days. So now they are not checking anymore? No, that was December last year. That happened for two days, confiscated everything for two days. Did you say it was the tourist people who said th this is not a good thing? Because I know that Inco have, 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 have sent, I mean, not that just a tweet from Inco would make any difference, but uh, we've specific, well, actually it does. Yeah, uh, but um, yeah, but we specifically said things like, you know, got the got the handle of the of uh, the, the right, tourists. Right, and, and even people. even there's like a, a dozens of uh, ambassadors going directly to see the chief of police. Say, you know, can you be more lenient for the, uh, tourists? Hmm. Because a few tourists, I think there's one lady from England, yeah, elderly, yeah and uh, from also from other countries. So this, this 12... Well, tourism, exactly 12. I mean, tourism... Uh, t t but the, wouldn't to, be tourism is backing us up right now. Yeah, absolutely, it's vital. Yeah. <laughs> and, and also industry <laughs> is really looking into it because, you know, we have, we have the handicraft. This, this one in my hand, this is a DNA ship, handmade by Thai people. This one, the Thai pattern and everything, and it works really great. No, DNA ship, yeah. And uh, so you know, we can do everything. We have uh, <coughs> lots and lots of uh, e-liquid and uh, design, and you know, we can even open up, like for high school children, instead of commerce or uh, accounting or whatever, electronic cigarette department in a high school or in a, like a vocational school. We could even do that. So the, the Ministry of uh, Education also is looking into that also.
you know, it's going to bring a lot of income and whatnot, but only one, one ministry that's against us is. That, does the king of Thailand smoke? You could send him a golden paper. No. <laughs> no. We would have done that if he does. <laughs> <laughs> that would be no, no, he doesn't. What? To convince him or to get him arrested? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, it would work both ways, right? Yeah. yeah. But yes? So what's the state of play with the heat not burning Taiwan? This is something new. At the moment, they are being considered the same as electronic cigarette. Before that, so we it's really been categorized as regular cigarette. But no, so equally someone could get arrested for owning a heat not burn device to save Haven't heard device. any case yet because it's small and it looks like a cigarette and smell still smells like a cigarette. So uh, haven't haven't seen a case. But there are confiscation uh, pack off, you know, the, 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 the refill the heat. But I think it's because they're bringing more than their quota. You know, you can bring in 200 cigarettes, right? Maybe one pack. Maybe they bring more than one pack. So, you know, the, the over the limit. But the nicotine is so vaping. Yeah, they, they're not looking quality. at, they're not counting by the liquid, uh, the nicotine quantity. They're just like, they don't care. They, they, they keep, uh, keep coming out and say nicotine is bad, nicotine is bad, but uh, before last month, the Thai tobacco monopoly belongs to the Ministry of Finance. But now oh. they just pull themselves up. So it became like a, <coughs> a, a, a joint company, an outside company, like electrical or you know, plumbing or, or water supply. Okay, so it not, does not belong to the government right now. Anymore? Anymore. One. It only happened last month. Okay, they pulled themselves up. Yes. From what I understand, the, the snus is allowed in Thailand, but only if it's produced in Thailand. I think there's Siam snus and Thai yeah. snus. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's the way they categorize it. It's not, it's not a cigarette product. That's how they categorize it. It's, <laughs> it's not imitation, you know, you don't, there, there's no smoke, no vapor coming out. You don't inhale it, you just stuff it in, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you everybody. <laughs>